so much. You didn't add that wow. uh, I'm also a fisherman. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. You can always add that. <laughs> yes. At least they've heard you now. Yes. Good, good to have you here. Thank you. Yeah, you, you. you once said that you don't want to join, uh, you don't want to pollute your ideology yes. by joining the coalition or uh, thought force. Mm. What is your ideology? Ideology is very welfareistic. That okay. is, I'm for the welfare, total welfare of the Nigerian people. Because okay. for 58 years, with a borrow ideology from other people. Borrow from, there was a time we were trying to mix socialism with communism. Then we went in the direction of uh, capitalism. But we never practice any of those things because we don't have people who can operate in the interest of our people. Okay. So to now go and join coalition, when I already have a coalition of the oppressed in our political party, the coalition of the unemployed, coalition of the abandoned, the coalition of people who have been cheated. There's no need searching for other coalition of people who may not share the core beliefs of our own political party and movement. That was what made me say that. Okay, we'll leave it for you like that. Yes. We'll leave it for you like that. Coincidentally, the 16th of February, which is the election date, is also your birthday. That's right, that's right. So are we celebrating at the polling booth or <laughs> are we going to celebrate somewhere else? We have the party at. Is that uh, this time around, the celebration will be different. Okay. I'll be taking gifts in form of electoral votes oh, across the country. That makes sense. Yes, you don't have to go to the store. Mm. You just have to bring your PVC. That's all. So whatever goodwill that you have, that they have for you. Yes. Let it be in the form of the vote. They should come with the good and also the will. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, you, you said that for a reason. Yes. You said that you separated the good from the will yes. for a reason. Yes. Because we know that everybody who goes into politics they says... They claim that they have good... They have good will. Will, yes. They have but good when will. they get into office... Yeah, what happens? There is only the good left. There's no will to do good. Wow. That's the problem. That's the problem. Yes. Okay. What makes Shawari different from every other uh, presidential aspirant? What makes you different? I'll go back to the issue of will. Okay. That of all the presidential aspirants, mm -hmm. over the years, 30 years in my own is the case, I've demonstrated strong will to do what is right. Starting from the University of Lagos when I was a student union activist, after I left there, I went and became a journalist. After, you know, with journalism, I was also a university lecturer, you know, part-time lecturer in the U.S. for eight years. And I have been in front of every demonstration that has forced anybody to do good in this country, starting from driving the military out of office when they brought tort town, now we demonstrate against them. When the Yaradua Kaba started, we were the ones who demonstrated against it. 2012, we did demonstration against the subsidy scams that was going on in the country. Demonstration in support of free and fair election. It has always been like that. That's why I say, you know, we need somebody that has verifiable records, history, integrity, character. So track mm -hmm. record of activism. Yes. Should it be a criteria? No, it's more than activism, <laughs> but there's also a track record of being a teacher. Okay. You know, okay. there's also a track record of being a journalist, even though I wasn't trained as a journalist. There's a track record of being an entrepreneur. I started a yeah. media company from nothing, and it became a global media uh, platform in Sahara Reporters. Yeah, I don't want to make that one begin fair. So All right, people, <laughs> please don't go anywhere because we are just starting this interview. And some things change, and um, after a while, you begin to see change in the promise. Mm. I wish sure that if you become president, we won't be hearing things like, uh, we met it like that. Mm. Uh, it is the way it's done. Yeah. Uh, the cabal is responsible. Uh, that is how we met it. No, uh, first, I want, I want to correct the impression and the use of the word if. I want you to change it to when. Okay, when. Uh -huh. okay. So, uh, no, it won't be like that because most of the leaders we have had in the past, they don't prepare in reality for office. Otherwise, we would have had some of the best leaders having had experiences as president before. Some of them have done it twice. This is the only country in the world where when you fail, you are allowed to repeat again, and you still fail, and you still be making noise. But in our own case, we have done our homework. And not only doing the homework, we have publicized what we want to do. 
we have what we call spice that hit. We have documents that are downloadable so that people can interrogate and query it and tell us if these things will not work. Nobody has come back to say that. So we will not have a situation where we're saying, well, if we knew, because no godfather is sponsoring us. And the moment you remove godfathers from the equation of politics in Nigeria, you have a godson, and they will be doing the will of God. Right? I mean, that, 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 that sounds very yes, interesting. Yes, that, that, yes. that sounds very, very, very interesting. Yes. OK. Um, those who are uh, especially in support of the present administration say they are satisfied with how he is fighting corruption. Mm. Uh, that is, I think, one of their main reasons. They say there's integrity and they're satisfied with mm. What is your take on it? No, it's, uh, even the man himself says that he's not satisfied with the way he's fighting corruption. That is why they are doing last minute fight of corruption. So if you want to talk about who fights corruption in Nigeria between the person sitting in front of you and the man who is going out uh, very soon, I have done it without any incentive and done it better than any one of them. On NTA, uh, when I was interviewing the candidates, I made mention of the fact that so two and a half years ago, this battery about uh, Chief Justice of Nigeria, we had already published that the man has questionable wealth. And they wrote a rejoinder to deny that there's nothing like that, that they've looked at this record, the man is squeaky clean. But when it is now politically convenient and expedient, suddenly they go and brought the file out. So you know that they are not fighting corruption. They are using corruption to fight others. Wow. Yes. Wow. Now, there's this notion that uh, people say you're doing this for popularity and for money, that you're just a rabble rouser. Mm. You know, people are entitled true? to their opinion. You know, one part of my life over these years is that I've worked very hard to promote freedom of speech. Yeah? And uh, the aspect that is not there is the freedom after speech. And when I become president, everybody will have freedom of speech and freedom after speech. So those who are saying that I'm a rabble rouser will still have their freedom intact. OK. But I'm not. They know that. If, uh, if I was, I would probably not be sitting in front of you. Seriously. Everybody wants to solve Nigeria's problem. Yes. If you have the chance, or when we give you the chance yes. to, yeah. let me change it. Yeah, exactly. When we give you the chance to, mm -hmm. what is that one problem? that you think that if you fix it, things will begin to take shape? It's not one, I must tell you. Right, just it's, let's, it's more than one. Let's, if you, have, if you if, had a one-point agenda, if I what could, would it be? If I choose, it will be electricity. You know, I would light up every corner of this country, put 40 million homes on the national grid, or whichever grid we have, because national grid is not a way to describe grid. National grid in Nigeria is a grid that promotes darkness. So <laughs> we have to be very careful how we use uh, some of these terminologies. But yes, electricity will be a major priority. But following that will also be security, infrastructure, fighting corruption, of course, not the way they are fighting it. You know, because we have to plug the loopholes so that we have enough. And you know, one area that I always talk about is also ensuring that there's proper distribution of wealth. Because our problem is not wealth creation. We have proven over the years that Nigeria can create wealth, even natural wealth that came to us by default. But we haven't been able to distribute wealth appropriately. Appropriate. Yes, in a just and fair manner. And that's why we are where we are today. Thank you very much, Mr. Shawari, for your time. Thank you we for bringing me on your show. Please,